That was an absolutely sensational piece you did in Ireland. I loved it. Very oh, thanks. Funny. Oh, thanks. Yeah. You've been back, right? You've... I went there about 15 years ago to seek out my roots. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found just the little foundation of a house that they, you know, the Philbins lived in in the 18th century, I think. Right. Really, nothing else. Were there. they like you, do you think, the Philbins? Were they... Well, you know, when we got to this... Hi, Andy, how you Hi doing? Hi there, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Were you getting a haircut? Before I got you? a little trim. Yeah, You're covered yeah. with hair. You're I got a little trim. Well, well, your girl should have brushed me off. She, Our has, a girl. Our she girl. has a challenge with we your hair. We don't know hair. her name either. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, so you went there. And so I went there. So when I found the house, uh, then I went to the town where the house was located. Right. And I invited all the Philbins, you know, to attend a little party, a little cocktail party I was having for all my relatives, all me cousins. Right. So I, I invited all the Philbins. I think there were about 32 people who lived in this town, and 45 people showed up. <laughs> they all took advantage of the wealthy American. You know what I mean? I bet all the ones that were related to you talked like you, too. I bet it was a whole village of people going, How are you? How you doing? <laughs> it's good to see you. What's going on? He's funny, isn't he? That was a mistake, Regis. No, no, what? What? You'll pay. No, no, you are funny. I love, I'm not Thanks, kidding you. I love the piece. It was a great piece. Thank you. Something you should always save and have. <laughs> We do tape these, yeah. Forty years ago, John Wayne went to Ireland and made The Quiet Man. Yeah. And now in the 90s, you go to Ireland and make The... Loud Man? There you go! Yeah! Andy on fire! Yeah. <laughs> well, I... I read your book, The Old Switcheroo. Yeah. yeah. I went What's to... he talking about? What's Andy talking about? You wrote a book, The Old Switcheroo. That's right. You know, I want to let people in on a little secret. A What's little that? Bit. Regis was nice enough to have me over to his house. No celebrity invites me to their house. They shouldn't. I hope it never happens again. But you <laughs> invited, you and your wife, Joy, invited yeah. my girlfriend and I over to your house. And then Regis gave me the tour of his whole house. And my favorite part was Regis said, you got to see my weight room. You got to see where I work out. And he took me down into the basement and showed me your weight room. And on the walls are giant pictures of you everywhere. <laughs> oh, like that. I thought, I got to get a room like that. Well, it's just... With you know, giant pictures of, of not me, you. But if it, <laughs> all, all these years I've got all these pictures, I don't know what to do with them, where to put them. Do you know what I mean, Andy? So I anyway, know what you I, mean. I, I just put them all around the weight room. I don't know what else to do with them. Now, you're, you, you have an obsession with Andy Richter, and I know why. People don't, I don't know if, uh, if, if younger people know this, but there was a show in the 60s, the Joey Bishop Show. Right. And you were the sidekick. That's right. I, I was Andy. You were Andy. Sat and we're Andy sitting. And so we don't have many talk show sidekicks on the show. How's Andy doing? You know, get. He is the only one left. <laughs> He's the only one doing this kind of a job. And only I know the frustration Andy really feels, but has never really voiced. You, you think it's easy to sit here and watch you be the star of the show? I know what's going inside Andy's mind. I know what's going inside your heart. You're sick and tired of it, aren't you, Andy? You want to sit there, don't you? Say it, Andy, come on. No. <laughs> Come I on, look at Andy, and I don't really see a seething yeah, cauldron. Yeah. Yeah. Believe me, there is a cauldron there. Uh -huh. Absolutely. It's well, you did human nature. You did a famous thing. You, uh, you walked off the air at one point, off the Joey Bishop show. Yeah. And you yeah. said, I'm not coming back till I get the, uh, the attention that I deserve. Is that no, right? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you, were, you had gone crazy. No, I'm going to tell it my way. Money, wasn't it? Yeah. No. Uh, we were off to a, to a rather slow start. We were taking on Johnny Carson. The show had just started. And when it didn't get off to a fast start, the network began getting worried, and maybe it was the announcer's fault, you know. And so you hear that enough, and then finally, maybe it, maybe it is. So I said goodbye to Joey. Thanks for the break. Did they fire you, or, or no, did you I, resign? I walked off. Right. I said, you know, I, uh, thanks for the break, and good luck with the show, and, uh, and I was gone. And I came back, of course. I'm no dummy. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> Were you hanging around in the hall? Or did you really leave? Oh, no. You want me I, back yet? I left, no? I left. But have you ever had the desire to just walk away and leave? Uh, like how many times each show? Yeah. <laughs> but that's, seething, I know. seething cauldrons. <laughs> you were right. I no, but he, he's only 
mat here. he's only matching my desire to leave half the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you're out here with like your, you know, 750th Baywatch person, you know, and you're you know what I mean? Sometimes How you just long snap. You've been doing this now five years and you're bored. This is our sixth all... season. Oh, oh I'm not my bored. god, six years and you're tired of Baywatch, eh? No, no. I like the ladies of Baywatch. Ah, <laughs> good guess. But good. those guys with the wax chest. I hate those guys with the ripples and everything. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't have it. Not good at all. But you know what I like? What do you like? Having guests like you. Do you really? <laughs> oh, that's nice to hear. You okay. were a you were a movie reviewer in yeah, your day. Yeah. When did you when did you review movies? Out in Los Angeles uh, for KABC TV, ABC News, uh, in the seventies, mm -hmm. into the eighties. Yeah. Where, do, do you have any uh, ideas of I mean uh, with the Oscar picks for this Absolutely. year? Absolutely. What, what do you think is going to happen? Let's all get together right now, okay? What do, what do you want to hear? Best picture? Yeah, best picture. Saving Private Ryan. Don't you agree? Uh, do I agree that it'll win, or do I agree that Don't that's the best picture? Don't slow the pace down, Andy. Just say yes or no. Oh, I'm I, sorry. I, I, I was I, just trying to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's hot tonight. He's the honest You know sidekick. what? He's really a funny guy. You should give him a break. But anyway... <laughs> I give him a break. No one watching the show thinks I abuse him. It's backstage that I abuse him. <laughs> oh, right? but, uh, Saving Private Ryan, Spielberg for director, Roberto Benigni for best actor. And Gwyneth Paltrow, who I think is the best of all the young actresses for Best Actress. Uh, okay. Those are my picks. Those are your picks. Yeah. All right. We don't agree on everything. No, but, we don't. You know, but that's, that's okay. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, is this a big day for you? Yeah, it is. It's, uh, I walked in the parade when I was a kid growing up here in New York City, at Cardinal Hayes High School. And uh, so I know that parade is a traditional New York event, you know, and it gets bigger every year, it seems. I think it's still going on right now. Well, <laughs> we wanted to do something uh, special tonight, yeah. and, and we understood you had a little St. Patrick's Day treat for us. In the well, way of... I, there's only one really Irish song that I know, but, but I need a little help. And again, I have to rely on Andy, all right? That's fine. Because a few years ago, or whenever it was, I saw Andy wear this bonnet, and I asked uh, Wardrobe if Andy be a sport. Now, come on. It'll, it'll play better if we do it this way. Okay, Andy? Now, wait. No, Regis, I, 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 was he, was he I, wearing it on the show, or did you see him wearing, on the street? I he mean, was wearing it on the show, okay. and I want to sing an Irish lullaby. You have to tie it, Daddy. And Andy's going <laughs> Andy's to be my baby. All right. And this is going to put you right to sleep, Andy, okay? okay. I'm getting oh. creeped out right now. <laughs> It is the weirdest spot. When he I've called ever you seen. daddy, I got this weird thing. <laughs> so did I. I guess I'm mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you are. <laughs> All right, baby. Okay. Baby's ready. This is a song that you were singing in the piece. Yeah, you only try and hit it as high as I did. <laughs> Over in Killarney, many years ago, me mother sang a song to me in tones so sweet and low. Was a simple in her good old Irish way, and I'd give the world if she would sing this song to me this day. Don't you cry. That's an Irish lullaby. I'm getting out of here. Uh, you're going to be performing at the uh, Dover Down Slots in Dover, Delaware, yeah, this right. Friday this and Saturday, Friday so uh, check him out. And, of course, live with Regis and Kathy Lee. Weekdays, check local listings. Dolly Parton is co-hosting on March 25th and 26th. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with Dolly. Thanks, Thanks so Thomas. much for Thanks coming by here. Much, Good baby. sport, Regis. Regis filming, everybody. Thomas Gibson coming up. We'll be right back.